What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Fernal the Plug, bringing you another uh, weekly vendor reset video for uh, July 28th, and this is gonna be gonna be going on until uh, August 4th. So we're gonna go through uh, various settlements. Uh, we're gonna do the dark zone. We're gonna do the clan vendor. Uh, we're gonna put them all in this one video, and then we're gonna show the uh, snitch location at the end. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump in. Now, the first we're going to start with is going to be the New York vendor. This is going to be the regular vendor. So let's just go ahead and see what he has on the hey list there. today. And first on the list, we're going to have the so-called MK, uh, MK-16 assault rifle. Uh, core attribute is going to be 10% assault rifle damage. Then we have 13.5% health damage. Lower attribute is going to be 8% critical hit damage. And then we have the talent killer. So killing an enemy with a critical hit grants plus 40 percent critical hit damage for 10 seconds next on the list we have the military mk-46 and that's going to be a lmg we're going to have the core attribute at eight percent lmg damage seven percent damage to targets out of cover lower attribute is going to be 14.9 percent swap speed and then we're going to have the talent eyeless uh, which deals plus 20 percent weapon damage to blinded enemies after four kills applies blind to the next enemy you hit um, Next on the list, we're going to have the uh, Urban MDR. That's going to be a rifle. Core attribute is going to be 10% rifle damage, 15% critical hit damage. Lower attribute is going to be 5.9% stability. And we're going to have the Talent Reformation. Uh, headshot grants plus 30% skill repair for 15 seconds. Next on the list, we have the Military M9 Pistol. Core attribute is going to be 10% pistol damage. Then we have the lower attribute at 8.1% reload speed. Talent's going to be in sync, so it's going to be hitting an enemy grants plus 15% skill damage for 5 seconds. Using a skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grants plus 15% weapon damage for 5 seconds. Uh, damage increases are doubled while both buffs are active at the same time. Next on the list we have the Sokolov Concern chest piece. Core attribute is going to be a red at 11.6% weapon damage. Lower attribute is going to be 5.5%. Weapon handling, then we have 4.3% critical hit chance. It's going to have a red mod slide, and then we're going to have the talent unbreakable. So when your armor is depleted, repair 95% of your armor. The cooldown is going to be 60 seconds, so one minute. Next, we have the Badger Tough Gloves. It's going to have a core attribute blue at 11, uh, 111,198 armor. Uh, lower attribute is going to be 7.4% skill damage. Then we have 3,970 uh, armor regeneration there. Next on the list, we're going to have the Wyvern Wear Holster. That's going to come with a yellow skill tier for the core attribute. Lower attribute is going to be 15.5% repair skill. Then we're going to have 7.9% uh, headshot damage. Next, we're going to be moving on to mods. We have a defensive mod. It's going to have 17% incoming repairs. Next we have uh, another defensive mod with 8.3% bleed resistance. Then we have a shield mod. It's going to be 4.3% shield health. Next we have a chem launcher mod. It's going to be 6.1% healing. Then we have a decoy mod. And that's going to be 5.5% duration. Alright, with that being done in New York, we're going to go ahead. We're going to check out the clan vendor in New York next. So we'll be there shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we've made it to the clan vendor. Now, um, we're not going to look at the clan vendor in the White House because they're going to have the same wares. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to jump straight in and see what we have here for the clan vendor. And first on that list, we're going to have the burnout assault rifle. Core attribute is going to be 13% assault rifle damage. Then we have 16% health damage. Lower attribute is going to be 7.5% critical hit chance. Then we have the talent perfectly on empty. So reloading from empty grants plus 40% weapon handling for 10 seconds. Next on the list, we have the Eclipse Protocol Neat Pads. Uh, that's going to come with a core attribute skill tier yellow. And we're going to have the lower attribute at 8.1% headshot damage. Next on the list, we have the Striker uh, Battle Gear Holster. Core attribute is going to be uh, red at 7.5% weapon damage. And then we have Hazard Protection Max there. So this would be uh, pretty nice to go for if you're looking for Hazard Protection on a Striker build. Next, we're going to have the uh, Aces and 8 Holster. Uh, core attribute is going to be a red skill tier. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, red uh, core attribute. We're going to have 11.3% weapon damage. Then we're going to have the lower attribute 10.3% skill haste. Next, we have the G25 sniper rifle. 
Uh, core attribute is going to be 11% marksman rifle damage, then we have 94% headshot damage. Lower attribute is going to be 7.5% health damage. Then we have the talent eye list, so uh, we just went over that, so we're not going to read that one again. Uh, next on the list, we have the custom L86A2 uh, uh, LMG. Core attribute is going to be 12% LMG damage, then we have 10% damage to targets out of cover. Lower attribute is going to be 12.1% swap speed, and then we're going to have the talent unhinged. So it's going to grant plus 18% weapon damage at the cost of negative 25% stability and negative 25% accuracy. Next on the list, we have the Tummy Gun. Uh, that's going to be a SMG. Core attribute is going to be 10% SMG damage. We have 20% critical hit chance. Lower attribute is going to be 3.5% rate of fire. And then we have the Talent Future Perfect. So weapon kills grant plus 1% or uh, plus one skill tier uh, for 15 seconds, stacks up to three times. Weapon kills at skill tier six, grant overcharge for 15 seconds. Overcharge cooldown is gonna be 90 seconds, all right? Next we have the more common industry knee pads. It's gonna come with a uh, core attribute yellow skill tier. We're gonna have the lower attributes at 15,514 health. And then we have 8.9% status effect. Next we have the Resolute MK47 rifle. Uh, that's going to come with the core attribute 14% rifle damage. We have 9% critical hit damage. Uh, the lower attribute is going to be 10% damage to targets out of cover. Then we have the talent preservation. Killing an enemy repairs 10% armor over 5 seconds. Headshot kills improve the repair by an additional 10%. So you can initially get 20% uh, armor repairs over 5 seconds. Uh, for the headshot, you're only going to get 10% for a body shot kill. Next we have the HANA U Corporation Backpack. It's going to have a core attribute yellow skill tier. Uh, lower attribute is going to be 9% status effect and we have 9% hazard protection. It's going to have a red mod slot and the talent composure. So while in cover, increases total weapon damage by 15%. Next on the list we have the Finners Group AB Knee Pads. It's going to have a core attribute red uh, at 9.9% weapon damage. Lower attribute is going to be 9% hazard protection. Then we have 8.2% skill damage. Next on the list, we have a defensive mod. It's going to have a, a attribute at 8.7% blind death resistance. Next, we have a turret mod. It's going to be plus one extra sniper ammo. Next on the list, we have an offensive systems mod. It's going to have the attribute at 7.6% headshot damage. Then we have an attack turret mod with 8.7% health. All right, now with that being done, we're going to head over to the White House. We're going to check out that regular vendor there. So we'll be there shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we've made it to the White House vendor, so we're going to go ahead and check out and see what we have here. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. And first on that list, we're going to have the Invisible Hand Assault Rifle. Uh, core attribute is going to be 10% Assault Rifle damage, then we have 14.5% health damage. Lower attribute is going to be 3.7% rate of fire. Then we have the Talent Perfect Allegro, which is going to be plus 12% rate of fire. Next on the list, we have the Vector SBR .45 ACP. SMG, core attribute is going to be 9% SMG damage, we have 13% critical hit chance, lower attribute is going to be 9% headshot damage, and then we have the talent ranger. So amplifies weapon damage by 2% for every 5 meters you are away from your target. Next we have the MK16 assault rifle, core attribute is going to be 11% assault rifle damage, then we have 15.5% health damage, lower attribute is going to be 7.5% critical hit chance, and the talent close and personal. Uh, killing a target within 7 meters grants plus 30% weapon damage for 10 seconds. Next on the list we have the 586 Magnum. Uh, core attribute is going to be uh, pistol damage at 10%. Lower attribute is going to be 7% critical hit chance. Then we have the talent salvage. Killing a target has a plus 70% chance to refill the magazine. Next on the list we have the Badger Tough Backpack. It's going to have a core attribute blue at 115,798 armor. Lower attribute is going to be 8.5% hazard protection. Then we have 4.5% critical hit chance, red mod, and then we're going to have the talent adrenaline rush. Whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy, gain 20% bonus armor for 5 seconds. Stacks up 3 times with a cooldown of 5 seconds. Next on the list, we have the Douglas and Harding chest piece. Uh, we're going to have a core attribute red at 10.6% weapon damage. Lower attribute is going to be 17.3% repair skill, 4.4% critical hit chance with a red mod slot. And then we're going to have the talent trauma. So applies blind to an enemy hit in the head. Uh, cooldown is going to be 30 seconds. And then it applies bleed to an enemy hit in the chest. Cooldown is going to be 30 seconds as well. Next we have an offensive mod, and that's going to have an attribute at 4.4% critical hit chance. Then we have an assault turret mod, and it's going to be 6.2% 
armor re, uh, repair. Uh, next, we're going to have a turret mod. It's going to be 4.1% burn damage. And last, we're going to have a sticky bomb mod, and that's going to be 5% uh, blast radius. All right, now that we're done with this, we're going to go check out the settlements. And the first on the list, we're going to go ahead and check out the campus. So I'll see you there shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the campus. So let's go ahead and see what we got on the list here. And first on that list, we're going to have the new reliable core attribute is going to be 10% LMG damage. Then we have 9% damage to targets out of cover. Core attribute is going to be 6% health damage. Talent is going to come out perfectly optimized with plus 30% weapon handling. Next on the list, we have the surplus SVD. Core attribute is going to be 11% marksman rifle damage. Then we have 96% headshot damage. Lower attribute is going to be 18.5% optimal range. And we have the talent naked. Uh, hitting an enemy with no armor grants plus 50% headshot damage for 5 seconds. Next on the list, we have the military L86 LSW. Core attribute is going to be 10% LMG damage. Then we have 8% damage to targets out of cover. Lower attribute is going to be 9.1% accuracy. Then we have the talent ranger. I'm not going to go ahead and read that again because we just went over that one. Next, we have the Grupo Sombra SA mask. That's going to be a core attribute red at 10.2% weapon damage. Then we have the lower attribute at 3,894 armor regeneration. Next, we have the 8.2% hazard protection and a yellow mod slot. Next on the list, we have the Hana U Corporation holster. It's going to have a uh, core attribute yellow skill tier. Lower attribute is going to be 4.4% critical hit chance, and we have 8.7% hazard protection. Next on the list, we have the utility systems mod. Uh, it's going to have an attribute at 8.4% skill duration. Next, we have a chem launcher mod at 6% skill haste. Then we have a hive mod at 7.3% health. Next, we have a pulse mod at 8.7% radius. And last on the list, we have a shock trap mod at 5.7% duration. All right, now that we're done here, we're going to move over to the theater. So I'll see you there shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we've made it to the theater. So let's go ahead and see what we got on the list here. And first on that list, we're going to have the Baker's Dozen. Uh, core attribute is going to be 11% rifle damage, then we have 13% critical hit chance. Lower attribute is going to be 7.8% uh, accuracy. Then we have the talent perfect lucky shot. Uh, magazine capacity is increased by 30%. Missed shots from cover have a 100% chance to return to the magazine. Next on the list, we have the tactical SASG 12K shotgun. Core attribute is going to be 10% shotgun damage, then we have 10% damage to target uh, to armor. Uh, not to targets out of cover, we have 10% damage to armor. Uh, lower attribute is going to be 8.4% stability. Then we have the talent close and personal. Now I went over that one, so I'm not going to read that one again. Uh, next we have the UIC 15 Mod 2. Uh, core attribute is going to be 10% rifle damage. Then we have 16% critical hit damage. Lower attribute is going to be 6.5% critical hit chance. Then we have the talent strain. So we're going to gain plus 10% critical hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing. Stacks up to 5 times. Next on the list, we have the Murakami Industries Glove. It's going to have a core attribute yellow skill tier. Then we have the lower attribute at 3.5% uh, critical hit chance. And then we have 10% explosive resistance. Next on the list, we have the uh, Seska Knee Pads. It's going to have a core attribute red at 10.9% weapon damage. Lower attribute is going to be 7.1% headshot damage. Then we have 3,870, uh, I'm sorry, 3,837 armor regeneration. Next, we have the, uh, we're going to move on to mods. It's going to be a defensive to start. Uh, attribute is going to be 8.4% bleed resistance. Then we have a seeker mine mod with plus one cluster mines. Next, we have a shield mod with 4.2% deflector damage. Next, we have a uh, firefly mod with 6.1% skill haste. And last on that list, we have a decoy mod at 6% duration. Right now that we're done there, we're going to go and hit the three DZs. We're going to start off with uh, DZ East, and we're going to hit DZ South and DZ West. So I'll meet you there shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we've made it to our first Dark Zone location, which is going to be Dark Zone East. So let's go ahead and see what we got on the list here. And first on that list, we're going to have the Ecom's Long Stick. Uh, core attribute is going to be 11% marksman rifle damage. Then we have 92% headshot damage. Lower attribute is going to be 18.5% optimal range. Then we're going to have the Talent Perfect Ranger. So it's going to amplify weapon damage by 2% for every 4 meters you are away from your target. 
Next we have the Convert SRS. Core attribute is going to be 8% marksman rifle damage, 100% headshot damage. Lower attribute is going to be 8.9% reload speed. Then we're going to have the Talent Reformation. I'm not going to go over that one since we went over that one as well. Uh, next we have the Custom L86A2. Uh, core attribute is going to be 10% LMG damage, 9% damage to targets out of cover. Then we have the lower attribute at 7.5% headshot damage with the talent strained. We went over that one as well, so I'm not going to read that one again. Next, we have the Negotiator Dilemma Mask. It's going to have a core attribute red at 10.4% weapon damage. Lower attribute is going to be 6.9% explosive resistance. Next, we have the Negotiator Dilemma Holster. Core attribute is going to be 7.3% weapon damage red. And then we have the lower attribute at 4,459 armor regeneration. Next on the list, we have the Richard and Kaiser Mask. And that's going to be a core attribute yellow skill tier. Lower attribute is going to be 7.8% status effect. Then we have 3,889 armor regeneration with a blue mod slot. Next on the list, we have the Wyvern Wear Holster. And that's going to have a core attribute yellow skill tier. Lower attribute is going to be 10.3% critical hit damage. Then we have 8.6% status effect. Next we have a utility mod. And that's going to have an attribute at 15.6% repair skill. Then we have a chem launcher mod with 6.1% skill haste. Next we have a hive mod at 4% healing. And uh, next on the list we have a uh, pulse mod at 4.7% skill haste. And last we're going to have a shock drop mod at 4.2 seconds duration. All right, guys, now we're finished here. We're going to move on to Dark Zone South. All right, guys, now we've made it to Dark Zone South. So let's go and see what we have on the list here. And first on that list, we're going to have the Grudge. It's going to have the core attribute 11% SMG damage, 15% critical hit chance. Lower attribute is going to be 5% damage to armor. And we're going to have the talent perfect, vindictive. Killing an enemy with a status effect applied grants. You and all allies within 20 meters, 18% critical hit chance and 18% critical hit damage for 20 seconds. Next on the list, we have the converted SMG 9. Core attribute is going to be 9% SMG damage, 20% critical hit chance, and the lower attribute is going to be 7.5% magazine size. And we're going to have the talent spike. So headshot grants plus 20% skill damage for 15 seconds. Next on the list, we have the Military P416. Core attribute is going to be 13% assault rifle damage, 15.5% health damage. Then we have the lower attribute at 6% critical hit chance with the talent reformation. Uh, we did go over that one, but I'm going to read it again. So we got headshots grant plus 30% skill repair for 15 seconds. Next on the list, we have the Officer's M9A1 pistol. Uh, it's going to have a core attribute at 13% pistol damage. Then we have the lower attribute at 6% critical hit damage. Uh, talent's going to be future perfect. I'm going to read that one again as well. So weapon kills grant plus one skill tier for 15 seconds, stacking up to three times. Uh, weapon kills at skill tier six, grant overcharge for 15 seconds. Overcharge cooldown is 90 seconds. Next on the list, we have the ongoing directive backpack. It's going to have a core attribute red at 11.3% weapon damage. Then we have the lower attribute 4.7% critical hit chance. We're going to have a yellow mod slot. And then we're going to have the talent uh, trauma specialist. So it increases the duration of your bleed status effect by 50% and all bleed damage done by 100%. Next, we have the uh, true patriot chest piece. It's going to have a core attribute blue at 122,404 armor. Uh, lower attribute is going to be 7.2% explosive resistance with a blue mod slot and the talent is going to be waving the flag. Increases red, white, and blue rotation speed to 1.5 seconds. Next on the list we have the Bighorn Backpack. It's going to be a Gila Guard. Core attribute is going to be a blue at 118,774 armor. Lower attribute is going to be 7.1% skill damage. Then we have 8.9% status effect with a blue mod slot. Talent is going to be leadership. So performing a cover to cover grants 15% of your armor as bonus armor to you and all allies for 10 seconds. This is doubled if you end within 10 meters of an enemy. The cooldown is going to be 10 seconds. Next on the list we have the Murakami Industries. And that's going to have a core attribute uh, yellow skill tier. Uh, attri lower attribute is going to be 10.3% critical hit damage. Then we have 4.4% critical hit chance. We're going to have a yellow mod slot, and the talent's going to be braced while in cover weapon handling is increased by plus 45%. Next on the list, we have an offensive mod. It's going to have an attribute of 7% headshot damage. Then we have a attack drone mod. It's going to have an attribute at 6.2% duration. Then we have an attack turret mod with the attribute at 5.9% duration. 
then we have a sticky bomb mod at 4% burn duration. All right, now that we're done here, we're going to head over to Dark Zone West. I'll see you there shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we've made it to our last location, which is Dark Zone West. So let's go ahead and see what we got on the list. And first on that list, we're going to have the Calibre shotgun. It's going to have a core attribute at 14% shotgun damage. We have 8% damage to armor. Lower attribute is going to be 7.4% reload speed. And then we have the talent Perfect Jazz Hands. So it's going to be plus 30% reload speed. Next, we have the Tactical uh, Tactical Super 90 SBS. Uh, core attribute is going to be 11% shotgun damage. Then we have 7% damage to armor. Lower attribute is going to be 8% critical hit damage. And then we're going to have the Talent Preservation. So killing an enemy repairs 10% armor over 5 seconds. Headshot kills improve the repair by an additional 10%. Next on our list, we have the ACS. Uh, I mean the ACRSS. Uh, we're going to have the core attribute 8% dam uh, rifle damage. Then we have 9% uh, critical hit damage. Lower attribute is going to be 6% damage to armor then we have the talent sadist which is going to deal plus 20 percent weapon damage to bleeding enemies after four kills applies bleed to the next enemy you hit next on the list we have the hardwired gloves that's going to have a core attribute yellow skill tier uh, we're going to have the lower attribute at 16.1 percent repair skill next we have the true patriot knee pads it's going to have a core attribute at uh well blue at uh, 142,907 armor then we have the lower attribute at 5.6% skill damage. Next we have the Overlord Armaments Gloves at 9.7% uh, uh, weapon damage. For the core attribute red, then we have a lower attribute at 16,940 health. And we have 15.2% repair skill. Next on the list we have the Alp Summon Armaments Knee Pads. We're going to have a core attribute yellow skill tier. Lower attribute is going to be 7.3% skill damage. And we have 4.5% critical hit chance. And now we're going to be moving on to mods. We have a defensive mod to start with. Attribute is going to be 8.3% disrupt resistance. Then we have a secret mind mod at 5% skill haste. Then we have a shield mod at 4% damage uh, bonus per enemy. Next we have a Firefly mod at plus one max targets. And last on that list we're going to have the attribute at 6% duration for a decoy mod. Alright guys, so uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is going to be the snitch location. So stay tuned and uh, we'll be ending the video right after that. Alright guys, now we've made it to the snitch location and this is going to be the last thing to drop out the video. So where you're going to want to look, you're going to want to go to DZ East. Now um, the checkpoint you want to go to is going to be Charlie Checkpoint. You're going to want to come straight out of Charlie Checkpoint. You're going to be looking at it this way when you come out the door. Uh, you're going to make a right. There's going to be a ladder on your left side. You're going to go up that ladder straight into the building and then you're going to run to your right again. And he's going to be sitting right down into this hallway. So let me just go back right here. You're going to come into this window like I was saying, so it would be to the right. That's the door you're coming from. So running this way, you're going to be coming to your right. You're going to come up this ladder to the left. You're going to walk right into this window. And then you're going to move to the back. Now, he's not going to be there on everyone's uh, on everyone's uh, account. Uh, it, it does vary person to person. But uh, this is my snitch location just in case you guys are having a hard time finding him uh, usually I can find him uh, if he's not here he'll be at the castle you can go to the castle you'll go out the back side you'll make a right and he'll be down this little hallway here uh, another location that I check first is gonna be over here uh, you can just transfer straight to the shop and literally right next to the mass you can go right up to the right side like literally right here and he'll be sitting there. Now I don't know why this thing won't give me the thing, but basically you can just go ahead. You can click straight on that from the uh, the shop. You'll go straight up uh, to your left, right at the end of this. He'll be sitting here. Uh, usually there's a dead NPC there, so you can't miss it. All right, and that's gonna close out the video today, guys. I hope you like. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.